Um, today we're gonna learn how to make our own, how to build our own, um, challenge website with Wix. So what is a challenge website? Like a thing that has a title and has a, and has the title of this challenge that says like, um, make websites for 24 hours. And then the description, you need to make a website for 24 hours, retiming and everything of those things, and then, uh, and then a uh, join button, right? So, and, um, and it will be some of the first one because there are not really many of those websites if you make them, right? Because, um, like, people haven't had the idea to make them. And, and, um, because they, they always do that like in person instead of in doing it like online. But that's good to do it online. It's very good. Okay. So you just need to go here to, you just need to go to wix.com, create a new website, or just enter to the website that you're making right now. And just click here to add. And you're gonna scroll down here to members. And then you're gonna scroll here to related apps. And then you're gonna see this one called Wix Challenge. If it doesn't appear there, if you will say like, what it doesn't appear there, maybe it doesn't appear there. So if it doesn't appear there, just go here to add apps. And here, click search apps and just put here Wix challenge. And then click enter and click add on Wix challenge. The, the, but that is only if it doesn't appear in the thing that I just showed you. Like you can do it both ways. It's just easier to do it the other way, but this way it is good too because there, yeah, either of those ways, yeah. And then here, click Manage Silence. And I'm just gonna click Create Challenge. And you can uh, start fresh or click a template. I'm just gonna start fresh here. And just add the challenge name, the challenge description, the challenge cover image, the challenge pacing, self-paced or predefined. Predefined, I don't know how to say it. Timing, no time limit or time limit. That, duration and days. Pricing, join for free or pay to join. Price and create subscription. Or... Just disable the subscription or just disable that. And visibility, is it public, private, secret? I'm just going to put here 999 as an example. Or I'm just going to do that. And you can put that it's public, private, or secret. Number of participants, unlimited or illimited. Reward, yeah, um, you can put a reward, and if you put the reward, you will have to um, choose a badge. Then create a new badge. So here you will add like the, the second, the badge name. Those are some names I have used to test. It's, I don't think it's like a social media that I was making, but not there anymore. It's just that it's, it's like, it says that it is like a name, like a real name of a person. So yeah, it's just the text is like that. 
and description, background, color, text, color. Okay. Background color, text color, icon, and just save it. Hello. Like that. I'm just gonna put that there. Say example, right? And then if you want, you can add a group. And then the challenge name, I'm just gonna add anything there. And just click continue. And no time limit I'm gonna put there. And then choose the badge. Okay. This one. And continue. And just publish, publish the challenge. And now I'm just gonna exit this dashboard there. Exit that and usually copy and paste the editing things here and just open a new tab you so just have it fresh and have everything that we did there or usually is there a way to okay now you're gonna click here edit site yeah that is what we need to do And now, here, it got us a side menu, a new side menu. So we have the home page, that, uh, uh, the home page, right? And then if you really want it to be like a challenge page, a real challenge page, not just Add a challenge page. Uh, I mean, as really like challenge website, not just add a challenge page to your website. I recommend you to make the challenges page the home page. So I'm just gonna delete the home page, and then that is gonna leave it like the home page, the challenge page. And then, as you see. This has the plan and pricing that is optional. I'm just putting it in so that you can see there. And you have the member sign up form, which it can be the default form, custom form. And if you have developer mode on, then it can be too. Um, Corvid Corvid. Okay, so general who can be a member, everyone or people they approve. Which option shows first new member sign up or existing member login? So say in community, enable Google login and enable, uh, enable Facebook login. Um, Show a link to your site's term of use. Show a link to your site's privacy policy. And then here you can see the challenges page, which we have the challenge page and the challenges. And the member pages, which are those. And the dynamic pages. So. Now we have already finished doing that thing there. We're just gonna test it.
and you see we put that is free so we're gonna click here view and as we see this loading and join okay as we see we have to be a member so I'm just gonna log in because Wix already detects my personal account and I'm just gonna log in with Google because my email is Gmail Okay, and just when it loads, get started. Okay, there. And then as you see, we have that, right? So about, we didn't add anything there. And you can contact the challenge or in order to see this group. That is with, just because we put the group secret. And here you can go see your subscription, but that doesn't have to be anything with that. You plan, you plan some pricing. There are no plans available. Maybe I will do a another separate video about that. And then my account there. And well, I think by this was all the video.